first main of this exercise, seventh main children. Question is simplify. 25 into t to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power minus 3 into 10 into t to the power minus 8 and they have given that t is not equal to 0. Here in place of numbers we have t. It is not like always we should have numbers. There can be they let them give anything but just concentrate whether the base are same or not. Both the numerator and denominator we have base t. So we are same. We are, I mean, we are safe. Okay. So next I said you one concept like splitting this or simplifying the given number to its simplest form that we have to apply here to this particular problem. If you concentrate children you have base value to the power I mean base value 5 and with exponent minus 3 but you have the very bigger numbers or larger numbers 25 and 10 in that case and this we need not worry at all same base we have so we can apply the law but with respect to numbers 25 and 10 we need to simplify children we need to simplify it means in other words, we have to write it in its simplest form as a product. So, 25 means we know it is a perfect square of 5. So, I can replace 25 by 5 square, isn't it? So, why I, why I can write means if I concentrate on the denominator, I already have a number with base 5. So, if I write this 5, 25, in terms of base uh, 5 square, we get same base value so that we can apply the law children. That way you should analyze it. So 25 is not like since uh, cubes and cube root chapter squares and square root chapter and takshna square ever we could cube ever we can like maybe. Both square and cube number you may have. Here you have 5 square now in the numerator. Denominator be 5 cube with that like that it is. Into t to the power 4 I am not touching I am writing as it is for now grouping later we will do 5 to the power minus 3 is already in the simplest form I will write it as it is now I have to simplify this number 10 10 can be written as uh, 10 into 1 1 into 10 it is of no use why we will have the again the bigger number 10 the next possibility is 5 2 is a 10 or 2 5 is a 10 is the next possibility. So, whichever you want you can write. I will write it as 5 into 2 10. 5 2 is a 10 I will write. Does 10 has any power here or any exponent children? No, it does, does not have any exponent. Means it is understood it has the exponent as plus 1. If no exponents are there. Even here 25 no exponent was there but I, we wrote it as 5 square hence we got exponent as 2. Here 10 has no exponent if at all 10 had say suppose for example 10 square was there then when I write 10 or split 10 as product of 5 into 2 this to the power 2 what is there has to be written both for both the numbers 5 and 2 children that you concept you should know. Power 3 idra, 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Power 10 idra, 5 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10. How many ever uh, multiples you split the given number as? For all those multiples, whatever the power, the bigger number has, that power has to be given. This concept you understand. Now luckily we don't have any power or exponent uh, to the power, I mean to the 10. Since we will write simply as 5 into 2. And this t to the power minus 8 as it is. Next, grouping we should do as I always tell you. Before that, if you concentrate on the denominator children, we have the product of same two base numbers. 5 into 5. I said no, if no exponents are there, it is understood. It is to the power plus 1 nanta. Now, these two terms, if you observe, 5 to the power minus 3 into 5 to the power 1, it is of the form a to the power m into a to the power n, which is equal to a to the power m plus n. Isn't it? So, 
First, I will simplify that. I will write the numerator terms 5 square into t to the power 4 as it is. This 5 power minus 3 into 5 to the power plus 1 is of the form a to the power m into a to the power n which is equal to a to the power m plus n. So, where a is, what is a? 5, m is minus 3, n is plus 1. So, m plus n under minus 3 plus 1 we will get children. Minus 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 or simply 2 you can write into t to the power minus 8 as it is. This will be equal to now numerator 5 to the power 2 into 2t to the power 4 as it is. 5 to the power minus 3 plus 1 and then minus 2. 5 to the power minus 2 into 2 as it is into t to the power minus 8 as it is. Now, if you group 5 square, 5 square group I ta. t power 4, t power 8, 1 group I two. But this into 2 what is there in the denominator is remaining as it is. Let it be no problem. Let us write as we have group. See whenever I am grouping so children there is multiplication sign in between. Now 5 to the power 2 divided by 5 power minus 2 is first set or first group into T, I will write since it has grouping. T power 4 divided by T power minus 8 is second set of my grouping into 1 by 2 as it is since it cannot be grouped with any terms in the numerator. Now, this 5 power 2 by minus 2 or T to the power 4 by minus 8 is of the form A power M divided by A power N which is equal to A to the power M minus N. So, if you apply that law, this will be equal to 5 to the power 2. Now, directly I will write children for many problem, I have showed you this step. Now, m hangi 2 minus n nandra, minus of minus 2 is plus 2. So, 5 to the power 2 plus 2 into sign as it is, t to the power 4 as it is, Minus 8 when I take to the denominator, I mean numerator or when I apply the law minus into minus will become plus h into 1 by 2. I cannot simplify, write it as it is. This is equal to, I will write here for now and later I will erase before I solve this problem. So be careful when you take down in your class work. 5 to the power 2 plus 2 is 5 to the power 4 clearly into t to the power 8 plus 4 is 12 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Now children, t to the power 12 further can you simplify? No. 5, I mean 1 divided by 2 or half what we have further can you simplify? No. 5 to the power 4 you cannot split or apply any law. Hence, you will have to find what is 5 to the power 4 directly. We know 5 cube is already 125. Into 5 when you do, 5 5s are 25, 2 carry, 5 2s are 10 plus 1, 12, 2, 1 carry, 5 1s are 5 plus 1, 625. So, 625 into t to the power 12 as it is into 1 by 2. Or, one more step how you can write them by grouping is... 625 divided by 2 into t to the power 12 is the answer. This is 12. t to the power 12. Like this you have to simplify. What we did? We simplified and wrote the given bigger numbers in their smaller or simplest forms so that we get the same base values of the given question. After doing so, Wherever you can apply the law and simplify, simplify and finish it that step. Then again by grouping, which all laws we have applied, I have mentioned. 
find and it simplify them. That's all children. Like this you have to solve. Similarly, you have the last problem of this exercise similar to this. I will clean this part of the board since I want space to solve second problem. Okay, now, now children, you have the question as 3 power minus 5, 10 to the power minus 5 into 125, 5 to the power minus 7 into 6 to the power minus 5. Here, Check with each number and think simultaneously which is the simplest form you can split them as so that you are having same base in the denominator also so that you can do grouping later. 3 power minus 5 further you cannot write as its simplest form I am writing as it is. But look at number 10 how did we split number 10 here as 5 into 2 5 twos are 10 nanta. Here also I will split 10 as 5 into 2. Here 10 to the power exponent was plus 1. So we didn't write any exponent to the multiples. But if you look at this problem children 10 to the power minus 5 is there. So when I simplify and write in terms of multiples that whatever power minus 5 is there has to be given to both those exponent has to be given to both the multiples into what is 125 we know it is 5 cube 5 cube is 125 whenever you have perfect cubes or perfect square numbers like that you can directly write like this if they are not perfect squares or perfect cubes like my number 10 for a say for example then you have to split it this way clear up and to make sure that whatever power is there, the same power has to be splitted as many multiples you write. Now done with the numerator simplification. Now let us concentrate on the denominator. 5 to the power minus 7, further I cannot simplify, I will write as it is. But how about 6? 3, 2 is a 6, 2, 3 is a 6 possibility is there. So what I do is, I will split now number 6 as product of 3 into 2. What exponent number 6 is having to the power minus 5. That has to be written both to both the multiples like 3 power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5. This step what you do is very 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 important children. Once you are done with this, next to do, next do grouping. If at all you have same base numbers many times in the numerator or many times in the denominator, try to simplify it there itself separately in the numerator and separately in the denominator before grouping numerator and denominator terms. Like, look here, 5 power 3, 5 power 1 netto. And unless simplify maadi, 5 power minus 2 we reduce maadi, then I grouped it with the numerator, isn't it? Here also, if you observe, 5, 3, 2. All the base values are different in the denominator. So, I cannot apply that step. But if you look in the numerator, I have two numbers. 5 to the power minus 5 and 5 to the power plus 3 with same base. In such case, I will directly apply the law a power m into a to the power n which is equal to a to the power m plus n and then group it with the denominator terms. So, 3 power minus 5 as it is into 2 to the power minus 5 as it is. I am grouping 5 power minus 5 into 5 to the power minus 3. Now, these two terms are of the form a to the power m divided by, sorry, into a power n. Denominator 5 power minus 7, 3 to the power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5. I will write as it is. In the next step, 3 power minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5 writing as it is into, if I apply the law to this bracket terms, it is 5 to the power m plus n and minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. Directly I did, and now denominator terms as it is 5 power minus 7, 3 power 5 and minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5. Look children, now both in the numerator and denominator, we have same numbers with same base. 
same numbers alla numbers with same base 3 3 is there 5 5 is there 2 2 is there group them and write in the next step so that we can apply this law a power m by a power n form we are reducing so that is equal to this 3 to the power minus 5 in the numerator has one more term with same base that is 3 to the power say minus 5 in the denominator as well into 2 to the power minus 5 in the numerator only we have one more term with same base that is 2 to the power minus 5 again in the denominator next we have 5 to the power minus 2 in the numerator denominator only out with the same base 5 to the power minus 7 now all the numbers are of the form a power n divided by a power n which is equal to a to the power n minus n. If you write all the numbers in that form it is 3 to the power minus 5 minus of minus 5 into 2 to the power minus 5 into uh, minus of minus 5 into 5 power minus 2 into minus of minus 7. 3 to the power minus 5 minus into minus is plus 5 into 2 to the power same minus 5 as it is minus into minus is plus 5 into 5 to the power minus 2 minus into minus is plus 7. Now 3 to the power minus 5 plus 5 under minus 5 plus 5 is what 0. Both get cancelled. It is like minus 5 plus 5. In other words, cancel again 0. Barata. Similarly, 2 to the power minus 5 plus 5. Andro, it is 2 to the power 0. Into 5 to the power minus 2 plus 7. What is minus 2 plus 7? It is clear. 5 to the power 5. Now, we have learnt in children, any number to the power 0 is 1. Hence, 3 power 0 no 1. 2 power 0 no 1, 5 to the power 5 as it is. We already know what is 5 to the power 4. It is 625. E 625, yeah, just multiply 5. 5 5s five are 25, 2 carry. 5 2s are 10 plus 2, 12, 2, 1 carry. 5 6s are 30 plus 1 is 31. So clearly it is 3, 1, 2, 5 is the answer. That's all. It is 3125, which is 5 to the power 5. Like this, you have to observe the given problem carefully. Split the terms as multiples of the simplest form. Numerator, denominator, if you have numbers with same base, simplify it separately in numerator, denominator, and then group it with the other terms. Apply the law and simplify like this. So this completes the first exercise 2.1 of the lesson exponents and powers children. Next concept what you have is about the decimal point that we shall be discussing in the next session. Till then complete the classwork. You have this complete lesson for your upcoming test. Prepare yourself children. Thank you.